Electrolytes are tiny chemicals in our body which can dissolve in water and have natural positive or negative electrical charge. All of us need electrolytes to survive, because many automatic processes such as muscle movements in our body will rely on electrolytes to function. Generally, skeletal muscle which is attached to the bones is responsible for most voluntary movements we make every day. The electrolytes stored in skeletal muscles, bones, and soft tissues play an important role in coordinating muscle contraction and relaxation. It is believed that five electrolytes, sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and chloride, are important to our muscle movements. We can take a closer look at how those electrolytes are actually working in normal skeletal muscle contraction and relaxation on a cellular level. Our muscle cells are also called muscle fibers. Like other cells, those muscles are covered and protected by some cell membranes called sarcolemma. Inside the muscle fiber cell, electrolytes will work together with motor proteins and some specialized cellular organs such as sarcoplasmic reticulum to control the contraction and relaxation actions of the muscle. Motor proteins are a protein that moves itself along a filament by using the energy generated by the hydrolysis of ATP. The sarcoplasmic reticulum SR, is a membrane-bound structure found within muscle cells which is mainly used to store the calcium ions. When the muscle is in the relaxation state, sodium is in higher concentrations outside of muscle cells than the concentrations inside the cell. In comparison, potassium is in higher concentrations inside of the cell than outside. As mentioned, calcium is in high concentrations in the sarcoplasmic reticulum in the relaxed state. Magnesium is considered to have the functionality to work against calcium. In the relaxation state, magnesium will bind to the motor proteins within the cell which help them to stay with the relaxed state. Chloride is also believed to assist in maintaining the resting state of muscle cells. When nerves send a signal to muscle cells to contract, the follow of different electrolytes will work together to help the motor protein to activate a special process called the sliding filament theory which will make the motor proteins move along cytoskeletal filaments by a force driven by the hydrolysis of ATP, which cause muscle contraction. In the process, a large amount of sodium will flow into the cell, and the increased concentration of sodium will drive potassium out of the cell which will lower the concentrations of potassium inside of the cell. At the same time, the increased concentrations of sodium will push more calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum organ to the inside of the cell. Those calcium will work with the motor protein to activate the sliding filament theory process which will make those motor proteins crawl along each other and cause muscle contraction. In the contracted state, the increased release of calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum will take over the control of the motor proteins from the magnesium. When the muscles are going back to the relaxation state, the magnesium will take back the control of motor proteins. That is why a lack of magnesium may cause muscle cramping because there is no adequate magnesium to restore the muscle back into the relaxation state. Moreover, during the muscle contraction relaxation process, chloride is transported in and out of the cell in both directions during the contraction and relaxation procedures. From the contraction and relaxation procedures, we can see each of the five electrolytes play an integral role when moving in and out of the muscle cells to make motor proteins work properly. We need to pay more attention to the loss of electrolyte as heat and sweat increase, the imbalance of one or more electrolytes may result in poor sporting performance, and some serious health consequences in some severe cases. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button or subscribe button for more interesting topics.